Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to create this kind of warm sunset look. Um, I wanted to incorporate some yellow, um, so and I want to just play with some colors, so I really like how it turned out, and if you guys want to see how I created this look, then you can just keep on watching. Okay, for today's video, I kind of want to do something more colorful, because I feel like most of my videos lately have been pretty, like, neutral color, so... I want to go ahead and do something a little more colorful. We'll see how crazy I go. Um, but I already did my brows. Um, put some concealer on my lids. I just need to set them real quick. Um, I'm just going to be using the Peach Perfect, Too Faced Peach Perfect uh, setting powder. And I find that using like an actual translucent uh, like setting powder works better than just using like uh, matte shadow. So, so I think I'm going to be mostly using my Too Faced, uh, or not Too Faced, ColourPop, sorry, Cute AF palette, the Yes Please palette. Um, for the colors, really pretty. They are super <laughs> warmed down like a lot of my looks, but um, I kind of want to play with this yellow because I haven't really, I think I've used it like as a transition shade once. But I haven't really used it as like the main part, so we're gonna try to incorporate that into our look without going like too crazy. So I'm just gonna start with um, this kind of peachy shade as my transition shade. Just kind of build it up. It's pretty light. Okay, let's see. So then. I'm just going to take a little bit of this more brown one. Let's see, it actually has a name. This one is called Chauffeur. The first one was Big Big Cocktails. <laughs> so I'm going to just take a little bit of the Chauffeur. And I don't want it to be like too dark, so I'm just going to lightly add that. I'm focusing it more on the outer corner. Cleaning it up. Okay, so then let's see here. I think I'm going to take a little bit of this more peachy color. Um, it's called Chance. And just going to make it even more peachy. I'm kind of drawing inspiration from Valeria's channel. She did a look kind of similar to this um, using this palette. And she kind of gave me the inspiration to play with the yellow because, I don't know, I stick to pretty neutral colors. Even if they are like warm tones and stuff, I still don't go crazy. Okay, next we're going to take the shade Louis, which is this one right here, it's more of like a burnt orange color. It's really pretty. I'm just going to add that. It's getting very orange. Right, I'm going to add one last color just to calm down the orangeness. Um, I'm going to add Mischief to it, which is a more like purpley brown color. I'm just going to take this more uh, round, dense brush from EcoTools. Let's just add more dimension to the look, I feel like. Yeah, that's, I feel like that's making it better. <laughs> So now we're going to take a little bit of concealer and this on the lid, just using this e.l.f. eyeshadow brush. I use it for concealer most of the time though. And I'm going to pack that on. Okay, so now just taking a e.l.f. eyeshadow C brush. Going to dip into the yellow. Let's see how this goes. Okay, 
looking very like sunsetty, which I think is beautiful. I'm gonna spray my brush a little bit. See if I can get a little more pigmented. It is like a beautiful mustard yellow color. Alright, so now we're gonna take our back 217 brush again, and I'm gonna dip, let's see. I'm gonna go back into the shade Louie and just kind of blend out the edges so it has a smoother transition. I'm just bring over it a little bit. Good I actually really like this. I think it looks pretty cool. And I think it'll look like well obviously a little better with lashes, but I think it'll look more like not too crazy, but still like really cool. I think I'm gonna take some an eyeliner brush and I'm just gonna uh, softly line my lids with that darkest color that I used. Alright, so next we're gonna curl our lashes and do some mascara. And for mascara today, I'm just using the L'Oreal Waterproof Voluminous Carbon Black Mascara. I picked this one up again because I remember like really loving it when I had tried it. I think more like when it had first come up, like out. Come, I can't talk. When it had first come out several years ago, and I feel like it's just not that good. But I'm like, it doesn't matter too much. Like. Most of the time, because I usually put on false lashes anyway, so I just need something to kind of coat my lashes. But as far as, like, just wearing without any lashes, I don't feel like it's, like, amazing. And probably part of it is because my lashes aren't as good as they used to be, but... I don't know. I still feel like... I mean, it does a really nice job of separating your lashes, but it just doesn't like, give you a lot of volume, like it says it is in the title. <laughs> It's more of a lengthening mascara, I'd say, if for that. I don't know. I mean, it is pretty, but it's just not as voluminous as I would like. Right, so I'm going to go put on some lashes real quick, and then I'll be right back. Okay, right, so I'm back with my lashes on. So next I'm just going to prime my face. I kind of forgot to do this for, towards the beginning. I usually like to prime my face before I even do my eyes, just so it has time to kind of sit in my skin and... Oh, I'm just gonna get a little tacky and stuff, but oh well. And I'm running out, which is really sad. So I'm running out of everything, like at the same time. And just not everywhere. Okay, then I'm going in with my Maybelline Fit Me foundation in the shade 124 Soft Sand. This has been a really nice color uh, for when I have like a fake tan and stuff. I just like to use a brush to apply it because I feel like I don't waste as much product that way or don't use as much versus just like dipping it in with my sponge. And then just going with my beauty blender. And then just doing the use of scraping my Becca under eye by brightening corrector. It's like so empty. I really needed a new one. Next I'm going in with my Maybelline uh, Fit Me Concealer. I haven't used this one in years. Um, I'm using the shade 15 Fair Claire. And I'm just going to be doing some highlighting and concealing. And this is actually the concealer that I use on my makeup clients. And it's really pretty. This stuff is so good. I don't know why I haven't used it in so long, but uh, Jasmine Hand always talks about it and she uses it for her clients. So. And it's super affordable, which I love. And then I'm just going to take a little bit of my Peach Perfect uh, setting powder and just 
sweep it under my eyes because I don't like to bake under my eyes because it melts it's just way too dry and gets crusty. So I just like to do a little sweep. Next is my favorite part. I have been loving cream contour. Uh, this is the one I've been using. It's the Fenty Beauty one in the shade Mocha. And I feel like it just gives such a more natural like contour to your face. Like it just really slims out your face and just makes, I don't know, it just, I've been obsessed with it. So I'm using that. Do it on my forehead as well, and a little bit on my nose. I like that you can do like a pretty thin line with this too, so you can do like your nose. And then I've been using this Morphe stippling brush, and it's been working really nice. And I always like to blend upwards. Like, uh, it just gives such a beautiful, like, look at that. That's, ah, uh, it's so gorgeous. So then I just like to go in and kind of set it and just make sure it looks nice and smooth with my Hula Bronzer by Benefit. I like to use a more, um, angled brush. Can't tell. It's a little more angled. And I haven't really been using blush, uh, blush much for the past like month or so because uh, I've just been really loving like a more bronzer look and then to bronze up my face even more I'm gonna go into my uh, Positions Formula Butter Bronzer I'm just using a more rounded fluffy brush from Morphe this stuff smells so good uh, makes me want to be on a beach right now so then for highlighter I might use a couple I just got this um, Makeup Revolution, or Revolution Makeup, Makeup Revolution uh, highlighting palette um, with my Ulta purchase. Um, it has, I actually already have this one, and then it comes with a more like yellow toned, like warm one, and then this is a more like, you can't really tell, but it's a more like pinky shade. So I might do a little bit of this middle one. Just, just gonna spray my brush more warm one. I already got the I just got the mirror dirty. Sad. I feel like this is a really like pretty just like natural highlight palette if you don't want to go too crazy. But I want a little more highlight in my life. So I'm gonna go in with the Becca Cosmetics uh, champagne pop highlighter. I haven't used this one much lately. But it's such a good one. Oof, yes. Oh, that's so pretty. I'm just gonna blend again. I'm just gonna take a little bit of setting powder and bake under the contour. While that sits, I'm gonna finish up the eyes. Just taking those same shades that I did on the uh, lid. Since I have this palette in my hand, I'm just going to take the shade uh, ounce from it. It's this really light, um, more white shade, but it has like a little bit of shimmer it looks like. So I'm going to use that as my inner corner highlight. And then I'm just going to brush the bake away. Then I'm just going to be spray setting my face with, I got this uh, new setting spray from NYX. This is also I got with my purchase at Ulta because I think I've reached like a certain amount of points, whatever. But um, this is the Dewy Finish Long Lasting Setting Spray. I don't really know that it makes my skin look more dewy, but it is pretty. Then we're just going to finish off with, we're just going to finish off with a little bit of mascara on the lower lashes and then we'll be done. Uh, sick for lips. <laughs> Lies. So for lips, I'm going to be using the MAC Hover or Hoover lip pencil. And 
then I'm just going to go in with just a little bit of this Maybelline, no sorry, L'Oreal Infallible Lip Paints in the shade Spicy Blush. Some more pink, so I'm just going to go in like a very little bit, very small amount. Just to lighten it up a little bit. So that is the completed look. I really hope you guys enjoyed and let me know if you tried to recreate it. Um, and don't forget to follow me on all my social media. I'm on Instagram mostly. I have a beauty page and just a regular page. Um, and make sure to follow my blog, lifeofappy.com. I'm trying to post more. It's been hard doing both this and the blog. Um, so I try to post at least a couple times a month. But yeah, definitely check that out. And thumbs up if you did enjoy it and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on future videos. With that is everything. I hope you guys have a great week and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Low Louisiana shit. Murder on the beat.